Welcome to Goddess Musings and Happy New Year. Now I do apologise for the grainy effect. I have actually gone through a packet of light bulbs this week so I'm not too sure what's happening with the electrics in the house but hey ho I'm sure we'll find out. I am flying solo today as um, my partner in crime and I are really finding it hard to get our days off together. Um, to actually sit down and do the work we've always intend to do, etc, etc. But she is there in the background and um, right in the corners too. So, so the question today was, from a friend of mine, was how do I bring magic into her life? And I thought that was a really, really good question. So I thought, well, what do I do? And actually it does work with the new year so what we've always done within the new year is actually get rid of the old year ready for the start of the new year and that's exactly the same with magic so we've all do our little rituals first thing in the new year I used to leave a piece of coal outside and get a friend to bring it in because he was dark haired um, a friend of mine actually opens the back door and the front door and lets everything through which is absolutely brilliant and also I have just found out from another friend of mine that she used to she always put salt on the doorstep on the 6th of January now I had never ever heard of that one however I do use salt on the um, doorstep and that is again for protection so I thought well all these are very very good now to bring magic into your life make that clearing first clear everything negative out of the house within yourself um, and just make that space for that magic to come into your life um, and what you can do is all those rituals that you just heard about is the salt on the doorstep I mean washing the doorstep with salt water with essential oils or anything like that and do the same with the back step um, if you have a back door but you can add essential oils like lemon frankincense myrrh uh, lavender anything like that and, and that will help to clear any negatives away another way of doing it as well is to clear the um, the room that you're in the room that you want to bring that magic into and that is again you can use white sage ordinary sage I make my own sage bundles with uh, sage grown in the backyard I mix it with lavender and rosemary um, sprigs and let them dry homemade ones really really good but you can easily buy them as well so yeah it's um, doing little things like that but salt is so important with anything to clear that negative energy away ready for the magic to come back into your life into your environment having a salt bath believe it or not is magical in itself um, mixing the salt with magnesium and also with some saltpeter and that actually breaks any patterns within um, that have built up over the years breaking a pattern and also these are patterns that are people that have attached to you in the past you can also again add a high vibration essential oil which is rose it's one of the highest vibrations that you can use and again that is clearing any of the negative energies within your aura within your body magnesium actually is very very good for um helping you sleep especially um, if you haven't suffered from insomnia so doing that is absolutely brilliant and once you've cleansed yourself clean your room make sure there's no dust there's no spiders webs there's no crumbs anywhere fur from animals make sure that that room is lovely lovely and clean anything with dirt attracts anything negative and I wouldn't actually um, say try and avoid doing that because it is so important I have done nothing but clean today with my house because it's a, a day off it so I've actually had the opportunity to do it make sure the windows are clean make sure that the sunlight's coming in 
making sure that um, a natural light is so important for killing anything that's negative within your room. And once you've done that, that's when you can actually sit down and think, now is the time for that magical moment. You can put your music on. Any sort of music is absolutely brilliant. It's what you feel that raises your vibration, which is really, really good. So it can be um, anything new age, it can be drumming, it can be rock music, it can be what is important to you for raising your vibration. I would actually emphasize here that it's a music that you wouldn't normally listen to in the car or just to relax to, just to make that difference between your magical moment and your everyday life. Once you've got that vibration working up, light a candle light some incense, have some cards there next to you, whether they're tarot cards, oracle cards, anything that you think any part of you to work with. Another way of actually doing it, if you're not going to do it in the house, is actually go out into the elements. The elements clear all sorts of energies around you to bring that magic into your life. It is important to get that fresh air, to get the light, and to actually work with the elements. We do tend to spend an awful lot of time indoors and it's not healthy. It's We need the vitamin D for our skin and for our um, and health. So if you can do it, go outside, definitely. Um, and then just see how you feel afterwards. Feel that vibration rising in your body. And once you start to feel that, work with the meditation, any meditation, but I will go through the meditation with you very, very shortly so that you can actually feel the difference um, removing yourself from your mundane everyday life and then actually working on a different level. So I hope those are little pointers that will help you to work towards that magic. And I did actually advise all this with my fr uh, friend of mine that asked me today. So um, I'm hoping that she's going to go off and do some of this tonight for herself. But what I would like you to do is just to put your feet on the ground. Um, pause everything right now if you need to, just to make sure that you've got that space and peace and quiet. It is hard in this, this day in life, unfortunately, but yes, do make that space for yourself. So what I want you to do is take a deep breath. And let it go put your feet on the ground if you need to lie down that's absolutely fine but for a short meditation it's just as good to be sitting in the seat with a chair back right up against you place your hands on your knees and have them open and close your eyes and breathe in and out Deep breath in and out. In and out. In and out. And just let your breath follow its own rhythm. Everyone has their own rhythm in their breath. And just feel the earth beneath your feet and feel that connection and feel the connection of the seat below you, supporting you. And just let your toes relax and your feet. Just let that tension ebb away. Feel your muscles in your legs. Just release and drift. Feel the tension in your buttocks and your hips. Just relax. Feel the tension in your back, your lower back, your middle and your top. Just feel that tension drift away. With each breath, feel your body just drift deeper and deeper into that relaxation. Feel your arms relax and your fingertips. And breathe.
breathe in and out as the tension in your neck slowly releases the tension in your face, your facial muscles, your ears and let that go and just feel that body of yours in a deep relaxation and breathe in and out and I want you to see in your mind's eye that you are floating you are floating within that space above us with the stars around you with a deep darkness and just let that support you you are present here within that space and just let it be feel the support take a deep breath in and then out Just let that moment be. And as you take a deep breath in now, let your consciousness be aware of your body again. This is a brief meditation for you to relax. Feel the, your body become more and more aware of itself. Feel your feet, your fingertips and just let them move. Give them a stretch and open your eyes when you are ready. That is just a small meditation. It is just to let you remove yourself from the present moment into a clearer present moment we do t tend to think of the monkey mind all the time and we we don't really need to i know we all lead very very busy lives but to be fair if we can always live in the present then the future is going to be far brighter it's going to rise raise our vibrations for the whole of consciousness apparently this year is, there's quite a lot going on on astrologically um, I'm not an astrologist, but you listen to a lot of the podcasts that are out there. It is saying a lot of planets are going direct. We have a lot of chance of moving the vibration of humans up the consciousness. So our fingers crossed that if just one of us meditates, we are affecting at least 100 people, possibly more. I can't remember the figures but if one person is meditating that is absolutely brilliant we are raising the consciousness of others and that is always around us so it's the closest people around us so if we can raise that vibration that is absolutely brilliant um this is just a short one we will be back with each um me and my partner in crime shortly so fingers crossed that that is going to happen and look forward to seeing you